안녕하십니까 온라인 서저리 김경원입니다. 네, 오늘 환... Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim Kyungwon of Online Surgery. This patient, I've done the, the right side previously, and now it's the time to do the left side. As mentioned, the patient suffered because anesthesia wasn't done properly in previous dental clinic. It, the patient had a lot of fear. After doing the right side, the, such fear was alleviated. We decided to proceed with placing implant on the left side. One guide has already been made as shown previously. Today, I'm going to place implants in number 24 and 26. And in the lower, in number 36, implant will be placed. There's number 38 and around that in number 37, the alveolar bone seems quite significant. After placing implant in number 36, this could potentially be a problem. Therefore, although I'm not going to place implant in number 37, I'm going to do alveolar bone reduction. Extraction of number 38 is going to be done and bone reduction is going to be done as well. In number 24, KS3 4.0 by 10 millimeter implant was planned, and in number 26, KS3 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was planned. In number 36, KS3 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was planned as well. As mentioned, after placing three implants in the lower, I'm going to extract the number 38, which is a wisdom tooth, and distal to number 36, where there is a significant alveolar bone. Alveolar bone will be reduced, although implant will not be placed at the moment. I think it will be more favorable in doing prosthesis for number 36. This is immediate post-op image. Number 24 and 26 implants are placed and implant has been placed in number 36 and alveolar bone has been reduced in number 37. An immediate post-op image, I think reduction occurred less than I anticipated, but this is not a problem. As you can see in immediate post-op image, number 24 implant is placed, alveolar bone was thin. I did not place a 4.5 but 4.0. And in number 26, 5.0 implant has been placed. In number 36, as planned, implant has been placed nicely. After surgery, second surgery has been done. In the upper right, healing abutments are connected. After that, June this year, final prosthesis have been delivered. In the case of this patient, the surgery itself was not complicated, but because the patient has recollection of a bad memory at dental clinic, the patient had extreme fear of dental treatment, and the patient did not have good oral condition. I removed the root breast and placed implants and provide a prosthesis. The patient was about to get married and it was a big decision for him and prosthesis was provided. Let's look at the surgical clip. I'm going to place implants on the left side one guy, the template has been adapted previously. If it it's nicely, I'm checking once again. One guy, it's good. In the case of number 26, GBR may be necessary on the distal side because I had such memory on the other side. Incision is made slightly. And one guy surgery is now being done. Flap is not fully reflected. I'm just slightly reflecting it so that drill can go in. One guide is adapted. This is tooth bearing, so even though flap has been reflected this much, it does not affect the fixation of the template. Initial drilling has been done in number 24. I was concerned it may slip, so I used a path drill after initial drill once again. In order to prevent slipping towards the palatal side, 
I did it. The alveolar bone was not really wide, so this was done. KS3 BA 4.0 by 10 millimeter implant was placed after irrigating sufficiently using saline. It's placed 80% with engine. Torque wrench is used to get the final position. Initial stability, primary stability is sufficient. In number 26, wide type initial drilling is done. Initial drilling is done full length. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guided drill is used. Three point five by ten millimeter one guided drilling is done. It's the upper and the bone quality does not look really good. 4.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill will be used. If you look at how much alveolar bone comes off, you can anticipate the bone quality. I'm not going to do full length using this 5.0 drilling. I do under drilling like two millimeters, 5.0 by 10 millimeter KS3 implant is placed after irrigating it with cell line. I place it 80% with engine and using torque wrench, I get the final position. Primary stability is the satisfactory. I think number 24 is going to be okay, but in number 26, I think there is a bone defect, therefore bone graft is being done. Smart pack is connected. I am measuring ISQ value. In the case of number 24, it's about 80. In the case of number 26, it's about 77. Healing abutment is connected in number 26 and on the distal side, AOS is used for bone graft. I did not use membrane and did suture. Healing abutment is connected and I am now suturing the upper. In the lower, template is connected. In the lower, the template is adapted because number eight, there's residual tooth. After extraction, I need to do bone reduction on number 37, so I'm reflecting a little bit of flap. Four point five by ten millimeter one guide drill is used because the bone is hard. I've experienced on the other side, that's why I've done this. A five point zero by ten millimeter one guide drill is used to full length. On the other side, I've used a cortical bone, so I've suspected that it will be hard here. Full length drilling is done, and after that, five point zero by ten millimeter implant is irrigated using saline. 
and it is being placed. Primary stability seems to be excessive, therefore I did implant removal. 5.0 cortical drill is used to get some of the superior portion off and then I'm going to place the implant again. I'm using a new implant. I'm irrigating it with sandline. BA 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant is being placed. The bone seems to be too hard as was the other side. Hand wrench is used to get the final position. Template is removed. Implant has been positioned. Smart peg is connected. ISQ value is being measured. ISQ value is 8184. After that, I'm extracting number 8. At times, I use periosteal elevator. Extraction has been done. As I've shown you earlier, in the case of number 37, the alveolar bone peak is quite significant. So even though I'm going to perhaps place the implant later, I'm going to use the crest remover to trim the alveolar bone. I am paying attention not to damage the implant next to it. Crest remover is used to reduce the alveolar bone. So we can provide favorable prosthesis in number 36 as well. I'm checking the occlusion. Primary stability is sufficient, so healing abutment is connected. Suturing is done. Surgery is now complete. In the case of this patient, as mentioned earlier, in the case of upper, the bone quality was not favorable because it was upper posterior. 5.0 implant was placed, the drilling was done up to 4.5, and 5.0 final drilling was not done full length about three millimeters or so under drilling once done in the case of lower full length drilling of 5.0 was done it was the same with the other side as the implant went in excessive torque occurred therefore implant was removed 5.0 cortical drill was used to remove the superior alveolar bone and implant was placed again in conclusion, good primary stability was gained in the case of lower in number 37. The alveolar bone was excessive and it could potentially be a problem for providing prosthesis, so alveolar bone was reduced using crest remover. Thank you for watching.